today my work and for the most part is going to be on getting this area in here straightened up. There used to be a shed here, it wasn't much good and uh, owner could not figure out a way to move it. Finally it was trashed and I have an 8x12 shed which we were going to move down here. Only problem being we found out that we couldn't move it. When we tried to, uh, it wanted to fall apart. So we were going to build another shed. I had the plans which I'll be showing you later. I had it all marked out. You can see there's flags here that showed where different things were supposed to go. And decided I don't want to put up the money to make it. So this area will be getting all cleaned out. This will all be getting cleaned out over there too, whether or not we'll get to that today. I'll be talking more about that stuff as well. And I am going to be making something to put my equipment in and all the spare lumber and tools that I have and my hay shelter. I'm hoping that I can get to the hay auction tomorrow and get like a hundred bales and if I can, now I can have my hay all ready for the year except for what I need for the goat and that'll be done later in the year. But as I get stuff done, the first thing will be getting everything moved out of here, pulling up the stakes and mowing, and then I'll be able to show more what I'm doing. Have a nice day. It's amazing what moving stuff around a little bit of mowing made in this area. And I'm about ready to start working. Callie's trying to help. I have a string, rope, whatever you want to call it, from that gate to that gate. I'm going to know I don't want to go past that line because I need to be able to get in here with the mower. Now, this are bits and pieces of portable garage. It will not be as big as they're made. And normally they're like 17, 18 foot by like around 8. This will be more like 9 by 8. The tarp is 19 6 by 9. I know from experience that the 19 6 is long enough to go over the top and that'll just be covering the sides. Another thing I will be doing is if you see over there there's an old outhouse. That's going to be taken apart, redone, and it'll go at the back of it so that I have a place to stick my porta pot. Right now it's in my feed hay stall or feed tax stall whatever you want to call it and it doesn't really have room in there for it this will give me room for it out here uh, there's part of the insides are in there I need to get rid of them and once I had this shelter up my manure spreader will go in this over here is a drag that I made for dragging in the field the mower is my husband's that will be going home my mower is not running. I'm hoping that can get fixed and I can bring that out. The cart, I don't really have any use for out here anymore. So that's going to go home. Other than that, I have tools and pieces of lumber that will go in it. Besides having the tarp over the top of it, on either end I will be having wood to make it a little bit more solid. And now time for me to get started putting it together. Okay, that's one side basically pretty much put together except for the part that goes up the very top. Uh, some of the poles had bent up, rusted, what have you. This is actually a piece of PVC. It's the right size and I had this up before and I know it will hold it. And there will be one on the other side as well. Well, it was not easy, but the framework is up. Uh, so this is all bits and pieces. So bottoms aren't quite done the way they should be done. But that's okay. It shouldn't hopefully move. I've got this tied together because it's not quite wanting to go. I'm not sure what the problem is. Uh, I will be putting wood at the bottom and then fastening the uprights to it to make it a little bit more stable. And I'm going to try to see if I can't get the tarp on tonight and it'll be tied at the front. Okay, the front I can see is leaning some so that's not helping any. 
but it's done as best I could do it by myself. Okay, I'm ready to get the tarp on. I put a rope, tied it through the one grommet, and all I had to do was pull over here, and it will come up. Of course, I can't really do it one-handed, so I'm going to have to turn this off so I can get it done. I had to straighten it out as I go and tie onto here little by little. And this would explain why I'm having trouble moving it. Callie, get off of there, you silly puppy. Got up on the ladder to try to pull it up, couldn't figure out why it wasn't moving, and that's why. Okay, it's not tied down quite as good as I would like to have gotten it tied down. The wind started blowing. But I am now able to at least get stuff in under here and have it out of the weather. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to the hay auction. Probably be a few days before I get back to doing anything. And I don't have the wood for the ends. I had not planned on doing this this week except for starting to get it set up. But uh, I had the chance to go to the hay auction tomorrow instead of two weeks from now, so I had to get this done. I don't know what happened, why it started recording the wrong way. Just saying, I tried to use this and had a couple of them for keeping broodies in where nobody else could get to them so that they'd be able to lay, hatch the rags out. And there's an opening right now, it's stuffed with more of this stuff. And that went towards them and I had food and water in there for them. Well, it didn't work the greatest. I'd have chicks fall out. I'd have them get out and whatnot. So all I do now is I hatch the eggs out at home in an incubator. This here is just trash that I've been cleaning up. That'll be going home. That's an old fence board. That'll be being burned. This is the remainder of that chicken wire. And so I probably won't be using that. I'll sell it. That was the roof that I made. And this was just a piece of wood that I used. It was sitting down here for getting stone into the stalls. So my goal for today is to get this area all cleaned up and mowed. And then if I have time, I'll see if I can't work some on the frame of this. Like I said, I'm going to be putting wood at the bottom and putting wood along the ends and this will be done and then I can clean out my hay stall. I did not go to the hay auction the other day. I realized I was just in no shape to get a hundred bales of hay so I'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. It's amazing what difference a little bit of work makes. I still need to get in here with a weed whacker and since we're not moving my shed down I got to put that fence back together. I've taken it apart so that we could come in here with a shed easily. I've got to fix that little chicken house up and that's going to go get sold. But everything's moved. I was afraid I was going to find some eggs in here and I didn't. Found some stuff I wasn't quite expecting, but it looks much better. The privacy shelter fell apart when I moved it. That's okay. It'll make it easier to move. And I am now just going to be sorting stuff. All the trash is going to be going home with me the next trash day. There's metal that's going to be going to recyclers. I've got a whole bunch more at home and I've got to sort out and figure out what wood is burnable and what's not. Well, so much for working on the frame today. It's actually wider than I thought. Uh, I got the wrong size board. I should have gotten three 10 foot boards. I planned to cut the two down to nine or thereabouts and have the eight foot join them. Well, I got to get another one. It's, no way around it. So that's all that she gets done today. I don't know if I'm going to cut the boards or not. Probably not. I'll probably wait until I have the other one because then I can just get it all done at one time. And it also means I'm going to need another one more sheet of um, OSB. I thought I was just going to need four. It looks like I'm going to need five. I'm not sure now how exactly I'm going to do them.